a way of pursuing knowledge, the knowledge of the physical or material world gained through observation and experimentation, which has resulted in huge evolution of human civilization, a knowledge called science. Over the course of centuries, empires were formed and destroyed with the strength of science and scientists, which substantiates that the strength's origin is in science. This is the undercurrent phrase that echoes all across Indian defense research arena, the phrase that gives immense pride and courage to scientists who make the country stronger each day. Balasyamulam Vijnana. A thirst for excellence, a combination of modern technologies and research, a strong pillar of support that has made Indian Defence Forces prevail against all odds is the premier research and development laboratory DRDL under the headship of DRDO. The journey started in the summer of 1958 when the Special Weapon Development Team SWDT was formed which soon became a full-fledged laboratory in June 1961 and was rechristened as Defence Research and Development Laboratory DRDL. DRDL was launched with the sole mission of being the design and development house for missile-based weapon systems required for tactical applications from multiple platforms. During the 1960s, the laboratory successfully developed an anti-tank missile system and indigenous rockets and proved them through flight trials. DRDL's testing and analysis facilities have paved the way for the development of futuristic technologies and weapons for the nation. Devil was one of the two early liquid-fueled missile projects developed by India along with Project Valiant in the 1970s. The goal of Project Devil was to produce a short-range surface-to-air missile. The development of components and systems for Project Devil formed the technology bricks for the future and in 1982, DRDL took a quantum jump by taking on design and development of various types of missile systems. This led to the birth of the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMDP. IGMDP was formed with the aim of achieving self-sufficiency in missile development and production. Today, it comprises of core missile programs like Akash and Trishul surface-to-air missiles, the Prithvi ballistic missile, Strategic Agni ballistic missile, and NAG, the anti-tank guided missile. Trishul is a quick reaction missile system configured against low-flying aircrafts, helicopters and anti-ship missiles with a maximum range of 9.5 kilometers. The system has been developed to defend naval vessels against missiles and also as a short-range surface-to-air missile on land. Akash, the indigenously developed surface-to-air missile system, intercepts aerial targets up to the range of 27 kilometers. The missile flies at supersonic speeds of Mach 2.3. It is a potential weapon against fighter aircrafts, helicopters and UAVs. A digital radio proximity fuse coupled with a pre-fragmented warhead and safety arming mechanism enables a controlled detonation sequence. The Akash missile system is under production at Bharat Electronics Limited BEL and Bharat Dynamics Limited BDL for Indian Air Force and for Indian Army. First, squadron production equipments were subjected to successful validation flight tests and the system is inducted into the Indian Air Force. Nag, which means Cobra in Sanskrit, is a third generation fire and forget anti-tank missile developed for mechanized infantry's Reki Kam support battalions.
This land version has six missiles deployed on a dedicated infantry combat vehicle named Namika. The highlights of NARG include passive homing using an imaging infrared IIR seeker with lock-on before launch and day and night capabilities, top attack and direct attack modes of operation, tandem heat warhead with penetration in excess of 800 meters in ERA protected armor of modern tanks. Project Helena has been conceived as a fast-track project for development of 7km third-generation anti-tank guided missile for integration into weapon system network of ALH WSI utilizing the technologies realized for NARG missile program. ALH compatible integrated twin missile launchers Weapon system elements like fire control system, launcher interface unit and RF data link system have been designed and developed in-house with proper interfaces for adaptability to helicopter and integrated weapon system architecture. A shining example of sharing technology and knowledge, BrahMos is a multi-platform, multi-trajectory weapon. This is developed as the first joint venture product of Missile Complex in partnership with NPO Machino Strainia of Russia. Brahmos Naval Systems is capable of being launched from warships in inclined and vertical configuration. This weapon increases the lethality of attack of Indian Defence Forces. Naval system is fully developed and inducted into the services. The system has seen multiple flight trials in different test conditions and emerged successful in various parameters of performance. The land system being fully autonomous does fulfill the criteria of being network centric in true sense. LRSAM is a long range advanced air defense system being jointly developed by DRDO and Israel Aerospace Industries IAI Israel for the use of Indian and Israeli navies. The missile has a state-of-the-art dual pulse motor for optimum energy management. Astra is a beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile BVRAAM indigenously designed and developed by DRDO to engage and destroy highly maneuvering supersonic aircraft targets. The missile is designed to be compatible with Indian Air Force fighter aircraft like Su-30, MKI, MiG-29, LCA and Mirage 2000. Astra missile has undergone rigorous captive flight testing on Su-30 MK-1 and proved structural integrity with the aircraft. Missile and launcher avionics interfacing with the aircraft avionics in different modes of aircraft operation was established. Seeker performance was also evaluated in various engagement conditions. The missile was successfully launched from Su-30 MK-1 in May 2014, proving the safe separation from the aircraft. HSTDV is a technology demonstrator aimed to demonstrate autonomous flight of a scramjet integrated vehicle using kerosene. The related technologies are new not only for India but for the entire aerospace community in the world and have potential applications in the areas of civil, military and space sectors. A demonstrator flight vehicle has been conceptualized to demonstrate the scramjet technology for a short duration of about 20 seconds. To design and develop these cutting-edge technologies, DRDO established some innovative testing facilities like Aerodynamic Test Facility, Ramjet Test Facility, Hydro Basin Test Facility, Supersonic Wind Tunnel Facility. 
two-dimensional supersonic wind tunnel facility is used for obtaining aerodynamic parameters like forces and moments, pressure distribution over the model and also the hinge moment. Ramjet facility tests ramjet propulsion systems in connect type mode. Strong foundation for tomorrow's military systems, DRDL is creating breakthrough technologies by making pivotal investments in new technology-driven ideas for India. DRDL imagines and makes possible new capabilities for overcoming the multifaceted threats and challenges that lie ahead. This makes a better and more secure future possible. Highest and the toughest forms of national security is the mission of DRDL. Jai Hind!